This lecture is about connective tissue. The connective tissues, it's a complex derivatives of the mesenchymal origin. It consists of cellular differon and extracellular substance. Uh, let me remind you the general plan of structure of tissues. That a, all of tissues composed by uh, such type components like cells, or extra, uh, cellular structures, uh, post-cellular structures, and the extracellular matrix. So talking about connective tissue, you must remember the connective tissues uh, composed by cells, different type of cells, and the extracellular matrix. And the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue. Ground substance, it's uh, like a uh, uh, fluid part of the extracellular matrix. The basic uh, component of the, of the ground substance is water, and they form soluble and insoluble components in organic and inorganic substances. And the fibers, fiber structures, as there are fibers of different sizes and different lengths, uh, which can be different types, like collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and reticular fibers. And depend on the concentration, depend on the amount of each, each component of the extracellular matrix, uh, if, uh, we can classify uh, different types of connective tissue, have different properties, and can be classified depend on the direction and relation between different components of the extracellular matrix to the classification of tissues. Uh, the classification of tissues by one lady. Uh, all of tissues <coughs> can be classified to general and special. At the cellular tissue, you can see here, and the tissues of inside the mound, there are general tissues. And specialized, there are muscular, muscle tissues and nervous tissue. Today, we are talking about inside the mound tissues. Uh, inside the mound tissues, it's a group of tissues which are connective tissues. You must uh, know such type of connective tissues like fibrous connective tissues. Here, connective, clear connective tissues means fibrous connective tissues. Yes. And the blood and lymph also connective tissues. And the, uh, you can see here such type group like skeletal connective tissues. We call them skeletal because they create a skeleton on the human body, like cartilage and bone tissues. And the connective tissues, fibrous connective tissues, is here, but uh, they can be divided to loose and dense connective tissues. And they also connective tissues, uh, like special group of connective tissues, it's a connective tissue with special properties, such as adipose, pigment, reticula, and mucous tissues. They have a mm, different structure from fibrous connective tissue, and uh, so that they have a special, special functions. Let's go particularly to the classification to the, of the connective tissue. Propria connective tissue. Uh, there are fibrous connective tissue and with special properties. Fibrous connective tissue, it means that these tissues contain in the extracellular matrix uh, fibrous components, the like collagen and elastic and reticular fibers. Fibrous connective tissue can be classified the loose and dense connective tissue. And with special properties, we talked about it, uh, the adipose, reticular, pigment, mucose. Uh, dense connective tissue, fibrous connective tissue, dense connective tissue is one of type of fibrous connective tissue, can be classified to the regular and the irregular, depend on the location of fibers in the extracellular matrix. Now let's start from the loose connective tissue. But first of all, first of all, let me explain you type of cells which compose the connective tissue, compose all of type of fibrous connective tissue. Here you can see a table of type of cells and they function. Main cells of the connective tissue, there are fibroblasts. Really okay. all of type of cells, all of type of cells can be classified to free cells and fixed cells. Free cells and fixed cells. Fixed cells, they are main cells of the connective tissue, of origin cells, which, uh, uh, why they are fixed? Because the origin here, and they spend lifetime, all the lifetime in the connective tissue and never migrate anywhere to different type of tissue, other type of tissues. And the um, undergo differentiation here and the uh, depth here. And uh, they produce component for the extracellular matrix, such as fibroblasts. Pay attention, fibroblasts, the function formation of fibers and basic substance. Basic substance means here, a ground substance of the extracellular matrix. So fibroblast are origin cells, main cells of the connective tissue, uh, which are fixed cells, and the spend lifetime here. And all of type, all of kind of fibroblast, I mean 
I mean kind of one type of cell during differentiation, like st since time cell till material cell, which are fibrocyte present here. And this set of different kind of one type of cells is named differon. So differon, all the differon present in the connective tissue, differon of fibroblastic differon. Uh, fibroblasts produce component for the uh, ground substance and also fibroblasts produce component for the for fibers. Other type of cells, there are free cells which come from other type of tissues, such as microphages. Microphages come from the bone marrow, also tissue basophils, also plasma cells and the leukocytes, and the, sometimes you can meet in different places in the glucose connective tissue, melanocyte, adipocyte. They origin in other places. They have uh, the same embryonic source of um, differentiation of uh, formation, but they come here and the main function is the structural only still here. They don't produce components and components for the extracellular matrix, so they, they are not main cells. Let, let me go to the fibroblastic differon. Fibroblasts are the main cells, aborigine cells of the connective tissue, have full differon in the connective tissue. Stem cells of mesenchymal origin present here, which differentiated into semi stem cells, and next here are low specialized dune fibroblasts, next macular fibroblasts, next we possible way of differentiation to fibrocyte or to myofibroblast. So macular myofibroblast, fibroblast, they are fibrocyte or myofibroblast. Why we call them myofibroblast? Because they have ability for contraction. They are like muscle cells, they can contract, make contraction because of present in the cytoplasm, actin and myosin filaments. Such type cells, I mean myofibroblast, present in the places where, where uh, uh, before happened the, the, maiden of the, uh, the maiden of connective tissue. It's a large uh, place of, uh, of the injury of the connective tissue. And the, in the places of the maiden of the uh, muscle tissue, for example, the uh, myofibroblast like replacement of the maiden muscle tissue. In the places, for example, in the pregnancy uh, uterus. In pregnancy uterus, you can find myofibroblast. What about differences between fibroblast and the fibrocyte? Look here. On the left uh, part of this picture, uh, you can see fibroblasts on the right, fibrocyte. Fibroblasts, they are polygonal, not polygonal, elongated, elongated cells, or which are large processes, wind shape processes, and large light nucleus, which is centrally located. Cytoplasm and fibroblast dark blue color because of greatly development rough endoplasmic reticulum. Why fibroblast needs so greatly development rough endoplasmic reticulum? For production of uh, mm, collagen fibers. Collagen fibers and uh, elastic fibers. Fibers, uh, both type of fibers composed by special uh, proteins, collagen and elastin. So these proteins of fibers are uh, created and produced by rough endoplasmic reticulum of fibroblast. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum is a basic staining, basophytic structure, so the uh, fibroblasts have dark blue color of the cytoplasm. Also, fibroblasts uh, have fibroblast has a greater development smooth endoplasmic reticulum because uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum take part in production of glucosaminogens and in, uh, in uh, four <coughs> components of the ground substance. So both type of endoplasmic reticulum in the fi in fibroblast are greatly development, and fibroblast take an active part in production of both components of the extracellular matrix. Fibroblast are young cells. They have a large nucleus. They can divide by mitosis uh, for production of a lot of uh, numerous uh, new generation of cells of fibroblast. And the fibrocyte lose its ability for mitotic division. Fibrocyte and like to fibroblast contain small dark nucleus. It means that uh, fibrocyte is a old cell, it an adult cell, a loose ability for mitotic division. And uh, pay attention um, that some plasma of fibrocyte less colorated, and the fibrocyte in the cytoplasm contain less amount of rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. 
because it lowers the ability for production of proteins, for fibers, and the uh, components for the ground substance of the co connective tissue. It's about measles. Let's go to next type of cells of the connective tissue, which are microphages. Microphages or histiocyte, uh, it's the other name of the microphage. It's a large cell. It's about 10, 15 microns, and uh, it uh, has uh, irregular shape. It has uh, a large nucleus in the center. It has a lot of um, lysosomes in the cytoplasm in different stages of maturation. I mean, primary, secondary, sometimes actually pre also present. Uh, look here on the peripheral, peripheral part of the cytoplasm and the uh, cell membrane of microphages has a lot of evagination. It's not smooth, it's make folds. Yes, it means that uh, it can tell about functional activity of this uh, plasma lemma of microphages. At the moment uh, here, here can happen uh, exocytosis or endocytosis because microphages take an active part in this process. It's a phagocytic, highly active cell. Uh, what about the uh, um, characteristic and development? Microphages, they are free cells. They are origin in the bone marrow. They uh, leave the bone marrow as monocytes and circulate in the peripheral blood for three, five days. And after that, they migrate to the connective tissue. Everywhere that we have in the human body connective tissue, you can find fibro microphages. And uh, uh, they get monocyte after migration to the connective tissue, get new name, microphages. So all of microphages in the, in the past, they were monocytes. And the, uh, what about function? The um, main function of microphages is a phagocytic function and the immune presentation function. So they help, uh, help to TNB lymphocyte finish antigen dependent maturation. Next type of cells of the connective tissue is a tissue by the fields or mast cells or labrocytes. All of these names, they are name of uh, tissue by the fields. You must remember from the topic of the blood and lymph. Uh, talking about the um, granular site, um, you must remember about um, eosinophils, um, basophils, and neutrophils. Yes, there are type of uh, uh, leukocytes. What means tissue basophils? In past, they were uh, basophils of the blood, and after uh, circulation, they leave a origin in the bone marrow, leave the bone marrow as, as uh, blood basophils circulate in the peripheral blood for some days and after that they migrate to the connective tissue and became mast cells or tissue basophils. Also you must remember that basophils are named basophils because of present a lot of basic staining granules uh, which main uh, components uh, are histamine and heparin. Yes, and they take, they take an active part in immune, immune answer. It's explanation of exhibition of inflammation in the human body. Next type of cells, uh, it's an electronogram petition. A electronogram, uh, where you can see basophils in the granules of basophils. Next type of cells is of the connective tissue, plasma cells. Granules, basophils, contain granules. And they look here, uh, basophils. Here you can see three places. What does it mean? And the, it's the empty, uh, empty vesicles after releasing of content of, gran, uh, of uh, vesicles. So after releasing of histamine and heparin to outside, uh, these vesicles look like gaps. So it means this cell took part in the inflammation and released histamine and heparin to the extracellular matrix, to the extracellular space. Next type of cells, plasma cells. Plasma cells like um, mast cells, and the microphages, free cells. They also come from the bone marrow. Plasma cells finish differentiation in the bone marrow, uh, leave the bone marrow like um, B cells, B lymphocyte, and circulate in the blood and uh, get to peripheral organs of the immune response and finish maturation, finish antigen dependent maturation and become plasma cells. After that, being in the connective tissue, they can produce antibody and make, uh, mm, they make uh, humoral immunity. 
So you can see here around shapes, uh, small cells with large nucleus. And this large nucleus has a special pattern of location of chromatin. And location of chromatin looks like clock face. It's a special, special uh, property of uh, the nucleus of plasma cells. It can be recognized by this uh, stru special structure of the nucleus. At the highly basic stain in site, uh, stain in cells, it has a blue color of cytoplasm because of greatly developed rough endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, this cell needs to greatly developed rough endoplasmic reticulum for production of special proteins, which are antibodies, globulins, immunoglobulins. That's the name of antibodies. Let's go to next type of cells. Oh, it's a schematic, schematic drawing of plasma cells with a clock face. Yes, uh, nucleus with is like clock face and a greatly development rough endoplasmic reticulum. Let's go to next. So what is the name of this uh, cell? It's a plasma cell. It's a schematic drawing. It is the same, mm -hmm. the same, but it's a schematic draw. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. The next type of cells is the um, adipocyte, adipose cells. Adipocyte, it's an example of one of type of adipocyte, it's a white adipocyte. A round shaped cell with has a lot a lipid droplet inside. Lipid droplet is like lipid inclusion. And this uh, lipid droplet so large that it push to the peripheral part small amount of cytoplasm together with nucleus and organelles. And so uh, this cell looks like a ring. Um, uh, white adipose cells uh, compose white adipose tissue. White adipose tissue is a special, it's a connective tissue with special properties. It's aggregation of white adipose cells. And in the human body present, also present as a type of um, adipocytes, which are brown adipocytes, uh, white adipocytes, and brown adipose cells. Uh, brown adipose cells, pay attention, unlike white adipose cells, brown adipose cells, polygonal shape and nuclei take place in the center. Unlike white adipose cells, brown adipose cells have a lot of small lipid droplets in the cytoplasm. Also, brown adipose cells contain a lot of mitochondria. Uh, brown adipose tissue, brown adipose present uh, in uh, newborns, in newborns on the back and the cheeks. And in adults, it's usually brown adipose tissue absent. Only in people who live in places who are always very cold climate. And uh, what about function? White adipose tissue function is the storage of the energy, isolation, and temperature isolation, energy isolation, and brown adipose tissue function as energy production. A next type of cells and tissues is pigment, pigment or size, pigment cells. Single pigment cells can be present in different places in the connective tissue in different places of human body. Uh, also pigment or size, uh, a lot of pigment or size together compose a connective tissue with special properties, which is a pigment tissue. The main function is the production of melanin and they produce and accumulate the cytoplasm pigment inclusion. And the, and the human body to famous kind, to known kind of uh, pigment inclusion, it's a melanin and lipofustin, but here we are talking about melanin for coloration of the skin, for coloration of eyes and hairs. And it was about the main type of connective tissue cells. Also in the connective tissue, uh, we can find the different type of leukocytes like T and B lymphocyte, eosinophils, and neutrophils, especially after uh, different uh, mm, uh, pathologic condition like inflammation. After draining of formate elements, our blood together with uh, some type of formate elements through the wall into the interstitium uh, to, to, together with lymph. And let me go to the structure of the extracellular matrix, and particularly about fibers. So extracellular matrix is composed by ground substance and fiber structures. And uh, uh, fibers, um, collagen, uh, connective tissue can contain a such type fibers like collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and reticular fibers. Collagen fibers are uh, um, most numerous fibers in the connective tissue. Collagen fibers under the light micros microscope looks like a pin color um, elongated structure. It can be colorated by hematoxylin and LZ. Under the electron microscope, you can see the bundles of collagen fibers and they have striation. 
they are like striated fibers. It's the main differences between collagen fibers and other type of fibers. Collagen fibers are composed by and produced by fibroblasts. And the production, process of production of collagen fibers have two phases. It's the intracellular stage or stages, intracellular stage and extracellular stage. So first stage happening inside in the fibroblast, in the cytoplasm, and then the next stage, second stage, extracellular happen outside in the ground substance. So intracellular stage includes synthesis of polypeptide alpha chains on polar ribosomes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum from amino acids. So there are four uh, main acids which can compose can compose um, polypeptide chain, alpha chains. And the second black subphase of the intracellular stage, three alpha chains wrap around each other to form a triple helix, except uh, the terminals, where the polypeptide chains remain in coiled. Here you can see polypeptide chains fuse together, fuse together, three polypeptide chains to make structure which is named pro-collagen. And these two phases, formation of change and form from amino acids and the second phase, formation of pro-collagen from amino acid chain happen inside in the uh, fibroblast. After that, pro-collagen go to the Golgi apparatus packed by the Golgi apparatus into secretory vesicles and transported outside to the extracellular matrix, which we are happy, uh, we are continuing formation of collagen. And extracellular as the first, happy formation of tropocollagen from the procollagen. So some networks, three networks of procollagen um, fused together, Fibers of procollagen fused together with formation of tropocollagen. The next tropocollagen spontaneously assemble into multi-molecular aggregate. So fibers of tropocollagen also fuse together. And this formation bonded fibrils. And finally, these fibrils fuse together with formation collagen bundles. So small structures fuse together with formation of structures which are more large. Intracellular intracellular happen formation of procollagen for, from the polypeptide chains. Formation the first happen formation of polypeptide chains, uh, which fuse together with formation of procollagen. Uh, procollagen by the Golgi apparatus transported to outside where happen fusion of procollagen chains or uh, fibers together. As with formation of fibrils, some fibrils fuse together with formation of collagen fibers, and the fibers fuse together with formation of bundle of collagen fibers. Extracellular having formation of bundles from collagen fibers and collagen fibers from fibrils. And the elastic fibers. Elastic fibers, the main differences of elastic fibers from collagen fibers, it's the uh, first of all, it's composed by different type of protein. It's composed by the elastin. It can be colorated by orsine. It's as a type of staining. Uh, collagen fibers can uh, be colorated by hematoxylin and eosine, and they are pink, uh, 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 pink color structures. In slide, with is staining with hematoxylin and eosine. And elastic fibers need need as a type coloration, and mainly it's orsine. Elastic fibers. Elastic fibers, they are thin fibers, they compose, don't, they make, don't create bundles. They make like a network. network. Here you can see in this stretch under relax condition, uh, elastic fibers. Uh, Lastin, elastic fibers have a yellow color, unlike to collagen, which have white or gray color. And elastin, more flexible. Collagen, more strong, but le less flexible. Example of elastic uh, fibers in the human body is there are yellow, uh, yellow ligament um, between uh, arch of, uh, arches of uh, vertebras. A ligament of flower is composed by elastic fibers. Next type of fibers, next type of fibers, reticular fibers. Reticular fibers create network 
they compose this special uh, connective tissue with special properties like reticular tissue. We call it the uh, reticular. Uh, we call it the uh, connective tissue with special properties because it's highly specialized connective tissue which compose the soft stroma for um, all of hematopoietic organs. Uh, here you can see cells, reticular cells, and reticular fibers. Reticular fibers composed by the third type collagen. So it's also collagen fibers, but they are like special type collagen fibers, third type. Actually, in the human body present a lot of type of collagen fibers, but only one type of uh, elastic fibers is known. And reticular fibers are created by third type collagen fibers. Here, you can see one of special type of tissue, it is a mucous tissue, uh, which composed Wharton gill, it's a special name. You can find such type of tissue only in one place of the, in one place of the human body, in the umbilical cord. It's a special type of tissue, and main function of it is a storage structures which uh, compose the umbilical cord and uh, in the embryo. And the, uh, it's a, mostly composed by the hyaluronic acid, so it looks like gel. It's the last type of connective tissues with special properties. So connective tissues with special properties, there are reticular, mucose, and pigment tissue, and adipose tissue. Let's go to classification of uh, fibers connective tissue. Let's start from the loose connective tissue. Loose connective tissue, uh, if you remember from this classification, fibers connective tissue is divided to loose and dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue and the, has large amount of the extracellular matrix. And in the extracellular ma matrix, it's a, it has a large amount of the ground substance, more larger than fiber structure. So it has a less concentration of fibers in the extracellular matrix as uh, a dense connective tissue. Let's go a lot about location of the uh, loose connective tissue. It uh, takes free spaces in the uh, human body between different organs and it's, uh, locate, it's located around the around blood vessels, uh, around the uh, nervous trunk, and it uh, can make stroma. A loose connective tissue compose the um, compose layers, special layers like lamina propria. Everywhere where we have uh, epithelial tissue, um, underlying tissue, it's a layer of the loose connective tissue. A loose connective tissue contain a uh, capillary network and nervous network. So that we call it like trophic tissue because of present of the uh, capillary network. A delicate consistency. So it's very flexible and soft. It uh, make mechanical protection for different organs. Excuse me, let me remind you, uh, as a trophic tissue, it uh, provides nutrition for tissues which don't contain blood vessels, such as epithelial tissue. And the next type of tissue, it's a dense connective tissue. Dense connective tissue has in the extra cellular matrix, dense connective tissue has a large amount of fiber structures, more larger than, more larger than uh, loose connective tissue. But uh, because of different location of these fibers, uh, dense connective tissue can be divided to regular and irregular. Here you can see dense regular connective tissue because the collagen fibers are deeply parked and directed parallel to each other. It, they have regular location. Example of uh, what about example of the dense regular connective tissue in the human body? Uh, dense regular connective tissue compose ligament, uh, fascia, where uh, we need we need the regular location of fibers. They are very strong and they, they undergo undergo a uh, large mechanical influence. So ligament, uh, tendons, fascia, dense regular connective tissue. Dense irregular connective tissue has the regular location of fibers. So fibers uh, in here, yeah, fibers in such type tissue collagen fibers directed uh, perpendicularly to each other. They are directed to different uh, sites. And they have a regular location. And the uh, example of uh, dense irregular connective tissue in the human body, the famous example is the dermis of the skin, for example. It composed by the dense irregular connective tissue. So it was about classification, general plan of structure of connective tissue, classification of connective tissues, 
uh, structure of uh, loose, dense uh, connective tissue and connective tissues with special properties. And uh, let me finish our lesson if you don't have any questions.